it's kind of tough that I spent all day with you and now we have to do this. Yeah. We're like very, very close quarters today. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Grease everywhere. Yeah. Start off the in a hub with you. Yeah. Just next to you. Yeah. And it turns out if you fart in the nacelle near the hub, straight into the hub. Yeah. Well, you know who let one fucking yeah. go. That was just horrendous. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah, not a good time. No. Not, not nice. Both of them went straight into my mouth. Yes. Because, like, you're safe on the outside of it. Yes. And then the second you crawl over, it's just a boof. I think it just sits kind of stagnant there. Uh, it's yeah, kind of trapped yeah. up there, It's like right? a vortex, polar yeah. vortex in there. And you just... Just a fart vortex. You eat kinda... a cloud of shit. It was That's disgusting. Sweet. You want to do the intro today? No. Because you do it. That's my thing? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. The last, like, couple times we've done it. It's It'd be been, like last been you. 12 episodes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, about 12. Yeah. yeah. First things first, good morning, y'all. How are you now? Not so bad, and you? No, not so bad. Like we managed to get through that without fighting. No, no, we didn't. What do you mean, no, we didn't? We like, managed, we work? Just, or that? No, work's a different story. We fight every day. Yeah, we have to. That's how we get through that's it. That's the only way to get through it. No, yeah. I meant the, the intro there. Yeah, that's pretty good. usually I do my part. And then we argue over who does the hurry now. Yeah. Ooh. What? Uh. Yeah, well. Get that out of here. Let me get all this shit out of here. We'll just door it again. There's already one in there, so. Yeah. There we go. Little... Yeah, back to our regular scheduled programming. Um, yeah. yeah, it'll be a close up of his face for that first little bit there because his work logo was sitting on a shirt. I don't know if we call that out. What? Then it's just hanging out there. Some people will be looking for it and it does accidentally appear in some other places. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. What are they going to do? Get us fired? Oh no, darn. I'm not, no. Oopsie. I don't think this is illegal. No. No, there's no shot. Nothing about this that's illegal. No. Anyway. How are you now? Good you. It's bad. On. How's your weekend? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Got some fresh bread, some sour dough. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. You were telling from, me. Uh, from cabs. And then Cobbs. you let me in on a wee secret. Yeah. Of you can just tell Cobbs to make you a certain bread. Whatever you want. And they'll just be like, yeah, come on back in a little bit, but we can get that done for you. Yeah. So there's one. They just put it in down the street from me. So that's danger danger territory yeah um you can do it with desserts there too son of a bitch yeah like because they'll do like their little pumpkin pies and stuff Ooh. you can ask them to do them as uh what are those danishes or whatever where it's in the middle well, like a tart oh no yeah yeah yeah. Danish, yeah yeah like a pumpkin pie danish oh. which are fire. and then just whipped cream that yeah piss out of it yeah i would love that yeah, they're so good yeah because like mm-hmm. i mean like one of those like mini pumpkin pies good mm-hmm. time yeah but you put it in like that, the fluffy kind of croissant, yeah. sort of flaky. Yeah. And then Fire. Classic Sunday dinner for Easter. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. I told you about mine, but I guess I'll tell them. Yeah. They don't have yeah. yours. No. Went over to my um, uncle's house and they had a very violently Italian Easter dinner where there was some white wife beaters worn, mm-hmm. lots of gold chains, mm-hmm. gold rings. Pinky uh, rings. Pinky. There was pinky rings that night. Yeah. And uh, Bella Chow was played several times because apparently my uncle re-found out that that's a song. And, Great song. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, good time. Had a, they did a lasagna and like a little ham thing for everybody. There's probably 35 some people there. Oh, yeah, good time. Good size. Yeah, big old lasagna, big old ham. Yeah. Lots of, lots of garlic bread. Yeah, it got to be bread. Yeah. Lots, lots of bread, lots of cheese always at these things. Wasn't a lot of cheese this year. Really? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of roasted vegetables, though. Yeah. Like honey roasted carrots and all that. Oh, love those me those. So yeah. So fucking good. Yeah. Uh, fried mashed potatoes too. They were doing those, which was, fried mashed yeah, potatoes. So you make them mashed. Yeah. And then they made like little little circles, but you fry them so they're crispy on oh, the outside. Oh Jesus. Yeah. I don't know how much butter I consumed that night. Maybe for a stick or two. At least. 
least. Yeah. At or like least. the brick. One brick probably, of butter. Yeah, like a 500 gram. Yeah, like you for, should probably. Uh, those imperial people, about one quarter of a... Small dog. Small dog. <laughs> it's approximately the size. Approximately the size of a small dog of a large dog, Yeah, if you will. Did anyone come over from Italy? Or? No, this is, uh, that was Christmas. Oh. Yeah, that was. That's the biggie. That was an event. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, 100 and, probably 110 to 120 people there. Jesus. Yeah. Just a disaster. Yeah, so many Italians. Yeah. A lot of this going around. Oh, I, hey. I don't actually think I talked that night. It was all just. Yeah, but you got your point across. Oh, oh obviously. Yeah. And they all understood. It's oh, essentially yeah. sign language. Yeah, but it's this. Yeah. And then the hands, it's it's putting, it's putting picking something off the top shelf, putting it on a lower what shelf. Are, what are you oh. doing? What are you? Oh. Stop. Oh. Stop. Hey. Hey. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. Those big Italian. Oh, I fucking love it. It's a good time. Yeah. And there's just so much food. And then they still send you home with like the yeah. big tin tray of food. Oh, I'm not mad about that. No, 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 no. And they get offended if you don't want it. Like, because oh, I was yeah, coming back time. out yeah. here right after. So I was like, oh, I don't want too much. And my aunt's like, what, yeah, what do you, what do you mean? You? Like, take, take enough. Go mm-hmm. feed everybody there. And I'm like, don't like any of them. Exactly. So, yeah. Basically, you had a good weekend? It was a great weekend. Uh, did you get up to anything else? I went to the mall. <laughs> I don't think anything else. That's about it. Yeah. Um, well, over the weekend, I was doing some thinking about the podcast here. Oh. So I finished up all the editing and everything for the Monday episode. This mm-hmm. will be the Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was listening to a basement yard one, and they kind of led me on to something that I think we should also address. Okay. I don't want to copy them word for word, but okay. our bio for everything has been the same since we began. Yeah. And I don't think that it fits anymore for what we are doing. Because we kind of, we don't really talk about cars anymore. No, I also, I don't know if you saw that. I did but see we'll, that. We'll, we'll that was we'll an executive decision by you. Yes. Just, hey, we have another one. I'm like, oh, okay. So. Uh, no, what we're going to do is just when we jump into cars now, instead of including it on this one, I'm going to edit it out and that'll be like a little 20 minute section that I'm just going to toss on the other one. Oh, ah, okay. and bring everybody that wanted that one over there while keeping everybody that wanted this here because yeah. we have that huge drop off. So Spotify gets all upset about that drop off at the end. It so, gets squinky about everything. Uh, no, TikTok gets squinky about everything. Yeah, I TikTok's. got a message and I can't do it because my phone's the recorder right now. But um, TikTok reached out and they say, hey, you need to start taking part in some of our uh, creator programs. Yeah, uh, shut up, TikTok. But then when I click on the thing to be like, oh, we're, there's one there that says work with artists mm-hmm. where essentially artists pick you and whatever and you make a little video for their new song. I click on that and it's, oh, you're not eligible. So why are they sending me messages Yeah, saying, hey, you got to go do this stuff when we cannot go do that stuff because they won't let us. <sighs> like It's probably why they got banned in the States. So that, that is official, hey? I mean, it's April Fool's Day, so I bleh. yeah, I don't really believe anything. Yeah, today. I mean, we both felt kind of hard for uh, what is it, Urba Urba Calgary? Yeah, yeah. One of the Calgary pages posted that we were getting our old mayor back, which would be nice. Yeah, I don't know what our new one's done. I didn't know what oh, the uh, old one did. Yeah, like I just I don't really care. Prime Minister is our real issue right now. But yeah. I guess if, yeah, I have, I have no clue what our new mayor is doing. No idea yeah. at all. I think most people are just mad because it's a woman. Also, the carbon tax hike came out today, which is fantastic. 23% extra carbon tax, gas, groceries. And it works out to be what? Three cents now and another three cents at the end of the month or something like that, it'll go up besides what the gas companies will inflate it as it goes. Yeah, something stupid. Ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, speaking of the gas issue, I know I talked to you about this last night, but I want to bring it up here. Mm-hmm. Um, I was at the gas station getting my work truck washed. Yeah. And I'm sitting in a line because it's a nice day out. So everybody in the city decided oh, to wash yeah. their thing. 
I'm sitting there and I'm looking over at the gas station and I witnessed a man. I think it was a man anyway. Mm. Sounds like he's a boy. A masculine looking person hop out card in the machine, hit the buttons, pull the card out, get back in. And as he got in, his girlfriend or the more feminine looking one hopped out. Walked around back, pump in, turned it on, and while it was going, she checked all four tires for pressure. What is going on? Tough, tough look as a dude. That is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a very tough look as a man to do that. I don't think that I could make my girlfriend pump gas. I would feel bad, and she would lay into me. Oh, yeah, you'd get shredded for that. I'd get shredded. That'd be a lot of couch sleeps for you. Yeah. Like Which is bad infinite. because we don't live together, so I'd be sleeping on the couch with nobody there. Yeah, bed's be, completely empty. Yeah, and but I'm not allowed. Couch. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't fly. Not no. in my household. No, that's a bad, it's just not. That's not like, how you, you do it. What are you doing? That's not how you do it. Or like, have you ever seen a gal pumping gas and the guy's sitting in the car? Yeah. And it's like fucking he's, negative he's 30. It's like, yeah. bro, yeah. Come, come on, on man. Go Throw pump your jacket the gas. on, be a man, go out there, yeah. get it done. Like, if you're not paying for her gas, grab her card. Hopefully, she trusts you enough for you to know the pin. Put the, put the, put the shit in by yourself. She sits yeah. in the car. Stay what are you doing? Man. What are you doing? That's how there? a gentleman does it. Yeah. What a tit. Yeah. I mean, you know what, though? In retrospective. I think it's just retrospect. In retro perspective. Nope. Good try. Take a sip. <laughs> Good on her, though, for, like, being in the know enough to check tire pressure and everything like that. Like, general maintenance of a vehicle. Yeah, we're in the past. Big ops. Yeah. Big ops on that one, because obviously he's not doing it. So, no. whoever it was in the small, I think it was a small gray CRV at the West Hills Co-op mm-hmm. on Sunday, March 31st at, I don't know. Yeah, to two, track this guy down. 2 to 3 p.m. somewhere in there, you suck. Pussy. Do do something good with yeah, your life. Yeah, do better. Man. Do better. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Don't, don't do that ever. That's dumb. That's a really tough look, actually. That is really dumb. Yeah. You got a bio? I do not have a bio. I didn't write one. So I wanted that. Yeah, that right. Right. Holy crap. Yeah. Um. No, so I'm thinking for the next episode. Mm-hmm. We each come up with a couple. Okie doke. And I think the only real rules to it is they have to include something about us, mm-hmm. like the two of us, and the dates that it's we tr- are. It's doing a thing again. I don't know what it does. There you go. I think it's all sticks. It, yeah. Uh, but yeah, something about us and the dates that we are. Cool. So. Ooh, they should do one. Yeah, but the write-ins have been dropping down. Who I haven't cares? gotten any emails this week. So what? Y'all should do one. Yeah. So we will We will do a couple. We also have you guys submit, and then, I don't know, two, oh, three I hope one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Times I one. hope so. Yeah. If he's still listening, though, after all of that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the still view, thank you. buddy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> You should have, like, if you want to complain, Yeah, just don't watch. It's like the whole cyberbullying thing. Yeah. Like, uh, turn your phone off. How's that? How's that? There yeah. you go. Like, if it's like you go to school every day and it's the same shit every day, that's one thing. But if it's specifically cyberbullying on your phone. Yeah. Delete the app. Turn your phone off. What if it's your text message? Touch grass. Block the number. Yeah, that is true. Very, very easy ways around that one. Now, we had touched on at work today, up there. The gentleman we were working with let out something. That, Unholy. Yeah. I think the Geneva Convention. Oh, they definitely have something there, on there's, there's some a chapter yeah, on that. Yeah, that's a, a no-no. Yeah. I think that's up there with like mustard gas and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mustard so. gas, flamethrowers, and whatever came out of his just butt. Just big no-no stuff. Yeah, don't do that. You know, like smelling, how it's kind of just... Yeah, it, yeah, I know. The what particles yeah. of whatever that is getting in your nose. Mm-hmm. Like, 
the way that smelled, like the potency. Yeah, like fresh shit. That must have been like about a quarter log there that I inhaled. Yeah. That's fucking gross. That's pretty nasty. That is gross. Also, we talk about poo a lot on this. Yeah. Everyone poos. Everybody does. Everybody poo. poops, everybody farts. Farts are funny. Farts are hilarious. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> You want to tell them about the buddy we live with? Sorry, Holy yeah. fuck. Like the <laughs> the one in the kitchen? <laughs> the the long boy. Yeah. So we're all, I think I was finishing up loading the dishwasher. And all three of us were in the kitchen. Yeah. And then I just hear this noise. It's like a low, like rumble. And it keeps going. I'm like, so it's like the dishwasher kicking on or something? Or like something leaking? And then we look over at buddy and he's got the fart face. Like the the little bit of pressure is going to my rectum right yeah. now. Yeah, it was like a twenty five second fart, and oh, the way man. he described it was, it sounds like someone's opening a really really long zipper. It was, it was just a consistent like little low rumble for so super long, accurate. And he too. started like moving around a little bit, and it didn't stop. <laughs> like the the consistency, the like rate at which the fart was exiting yeah. his butthole. Yeah. Exact same the entire time. He's moving around, giggling. But it, it took us like a good five, ten seconds to realize he was farting. Yeah. Because it didn't, yeah. re- it, well, it sounded like a fart once we keyed into it. But like it was just too long and too consistent to be a fart. It was fucking hilarious. One of the funniest things ever. Very funny. Yeah. And then you were having some fucking ring dingers. Yeah, I was thing. having issues. And that turned into a big issue this morning. <laughs> I like, I just kept farting. I don't know why. Like I didn't eat anything crazy over the weekend. But it just a lot of loud farts last night. And then this morning was a big bad poo. Disgusting. Wet. Liquid. Not good. Yeah, I I came down and you were still in there. Yeah. Usually you're out there ready to roll. I'm like, okay. He's having a time. And as I'm leaving, <laughs> you come out and it just sweaty. The look of defeat. I was, I didn't have a good time in there. And that's the one with the broken toilet seat. So I'm fucking slipping around a little bit too. Oh yeah. yeah. That is such a pain. I I'm so it. glad I don't have to poo down there. Yeah. But you've been banished. Well, no, it was just cause it was in the morning. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think I had time to go upstairs. I think I would have oh, shit would've all the way up the carpet stairs. That would have been disgusting. Were you doing the green apple? I was doing the green apple two step and it was not pleasant once I sat down. Uh, my God. The whole world fell out of my ass. <sighs> they, you, everybody poops. It's just that one. Yeah, it usually, that snuck up on me. I can usually hold it until work. I poop. Obviously, you poop on the clock. Oh, you're supposed like, to. I had no choice. It was either shit my pants or poo at the house. Yeah. Boss makes a dollar. I, I make, make a dime. dime. That's why I poop on company time. Yeah, that is a rule to live by, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you work any kind of job ever, just poop on the clock. Poop on the clock. Yeah. And if uh, you work for a company that's making you clock out to poo, leave. The fuck? Uh, Do not work feels, there. I feel like that's an Amazon thing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Because, yeah, they don't get paid for... Like, uh, you got to sneeze? You got to have a, a sneeze yeah. or two here? Yeah. Punch out for that. That's not, uh, that's not our issue. That is not good. No. I wouldn't work for them. Maybe a delivery driver. No, I'd go. Yeah. Who is it? What are the ones who are making like 100K a year now? Is that UPS? Uh, UPS, yeah. yeah. $170,000 a year. And you get to wear those fucking car. sick ass suits. Yeah. Some little booties in the short shorts. Yeah, not too bad. All I'm doing is tossing packages. Mm hmm. I can do that. You Would get you on 170 a year? 170. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I think it's because they just got unionized or something like that. But Oh, what are their union fees then? No idea, but probably high. That as means fuck. they're pensioned too. Yeah. So that's really not the end of the world. You yeah, drive a truck around. What the fuck are we around? doing here? I don't know. We're selling our bodies for fucking nothing. Pretty much nothing. Yeah. No, we we love our company so much. Yeah, I love my job. Ha 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 ha. I definitely wouldn't quit this in a heartbeat if this podcast takes off or no. my lottery ticket ha, cashes. Not at all. No, ha, I keep <laughs> doing this because I love it. Yes. I love renewable energy. Do you ever wish you went to college? Mm, not really. Because the amount of people that I know who spent a lot of money and time at college make a lot less than me. Yes. Like, yeah, you're inside, you're at home, 
but like I was making that kind of money working at like sport retailers. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. And I got no student debt. Mm -hmm. And not saying that everything is about money, but like if you think that money can't buy happiness, you're a dull human being. Yeah. You're just true. For me, live on a lake. Yep. Boat and surf. Yep. Ride mountain bikes all day. Yep. Drive cars. Drive really fast, nice cars. Happiest guy in the world. Doesn't even have to be fast. Like, if you give me, like, a field and something kind of slow, but I can just slide it all over the place. Happy guy. Happy Happy guy. guy. Yeah. I need to either be, yeah, be going quick or be facing the wrong way for the direction that I'm moving. Yes. That's that's all I need. Yeah. But, yeah, people with that money can't buy happiness stuff, like, I think you're dumb. No. And, yeah, again, everybody I know that went to college, they're still in student debt. Yeah. They don't love the job that they're doing. No. And they're not making nearly what we make. Yeah. Some are still in school. Like, oh, I switched out of this major. Now I'm in this one. I switched back to this one. Now I'm in a different one. Like, because you're 18 or 17 going into university. Which is You don't have a fucking clue what you want to do with your life. I don't know what I want to do when I'm 27. No. Is this what I want to do with my life? No. 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 But I'm making good money while I'm doing it. So. So hang on for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, and no student debt. Like, that's big ups. Yeah. And you go through, like, four or five years of being just shit poor. Yeah. Like, you got no money ever. It's like, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. Because, like, it gets you a degree, not a job. Like, there's a zero I guarantee. Think, at yeah. the, unless, like, oh, daddy's company is going to hire me. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Go to university. Get the shit that you need done. But, like, if you're going in with a hope of getting a job. That's not what it's there for. No, like that's, you have your degree. That's very cool. But so do 5,000 other people going for the exact yeah. same job. Yeah. There's one spot open, 5,000 people are going for it. Are you really that good at what you do? Yeah. No. No, I, uh, I, I regret going to college. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Didn't you only go for like half an hour though? No, I went two years. That's not that long. Yeah, but mine was a technical diploma. It's not a degree. I don't know what the difference is. Nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's essentially like, oh, I went and I did this. I now know something about this, but not everything. Ah. Yeah. And then you fixed bikes. Uh, because I never wanted to go. I never wanted to go to university. But dad was like, hey, you got to pick something. Yeah. You got to you gotta try. And I was like, eh, I guess. Yeah. And I hated it. Yeah. So. Um, but I don't know what time we're at here. Hopefully, I think this might yeah. be a fairly quick episode. Yeah. But because, can we see on this? Uh, maybe I can try. I can just fucking. Boop, 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 boop. You look away like I care if you see my password. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just like going there. It's last four digits of my phone number. I don't know what the fuck that is. 21. Oh, we need to get a little more time. In oh, there. yes, definitely. We need to get, like, at least another 10 minutes. Another 20. We're having hot dogs tonight again. It's fucking hot as shit out right now. It is very nice. I don't know what the temperature is, but... It's it's exposed to be 22 tomorrow. So it could be another dog day. Well, tell you what, because we talked about college and smarts, Mm -hmm. I've got a game. We can play the game, and then we can continue talking. I don't know if they heard that. What would you say there? I love games. There you go. So I have a game that I've named Guess the Weight. Ooh, in pounds, kilograms? Pounds. Pounds, pounds and tons, if you will. Okay. T-O-N-N-E-S, ton? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah. So some of these I think we've gone through before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll see how she goes. I'm also, oh, yeah, there we go. Let's start with uh, a whale, a big blue whale. A blue whale, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I have this one in pounds. Oh, don't fucking peek. It cheated the game out of the gate. I can't see fucking shit. Well, don't start looking. Okay. Piece of shit. Dumb. Dick. Dumb garbage human. Well, I know that their tongue weighs as much as an elephant, but that means almost nothing because I don't know how much an elephant weighs. I was going to say elephant's not in here either. So. Yeah. Jesus. And they're big. Blue whales? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're big. They're large. I'm going to say 
in, in pounds or tons? I have this one in pounds for some reason. Okay, I'm going to say... It's what, an elephant's at least... Do you want to do you want to start on a different one, pounds. like a little smaller of an animal to get you? In sure, there? yeah, just so I can gauge. Okay, There's let, a wasp that's hanging around there too, so if that comes in here, it's going to be yeah, the fucking quick end to this episode. Yeah. <laughs> do not like the buggy boys, no. not the stingy ones or the ones with too many legs. Yeah, the most most of them I'm fine with, but yeah, the yeah, stingy bees, boys. Bees are okay too. Bees. Not when there's as many as there was the other day on my truck. Those are wasps. On my truck, those are honeybees. So. Oh. I could see them because there's about 80 of them right here. Yeah, that was a little scary. Uh, okay, let's start with something smaller here. Let's do, we're going to start off with a cow. So not a bull, a, a cow. cow. Dairy, dairy cow. Thousand pounds, flat number. There's a range here. Fuck sakes. Do you, do you want to just uh, have me give it to you? 1,100 to 1,500. A cow can weigh anywhere from 800 pounds. To 2,400 pounds. Whoa. So right out of the gate from that one. Yeah. We're going to jump into bull. 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 2,500 was the tops. I'll say 3,500 is the tops for a bull. 15 to 3,500 for a bull. You going to lock that in? I'm going to lock that in. 1,000 to 4,000 pounds. That's a big fucking bull. Whoa, that's a lot of beef. Like Big Hoss is that we met in uh, uh, Hogwarts. Hodge. Yeah. He had to be up there about 400 or 4,000. Fuck. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, he was a big boy. That was, he was like the size of my truck. Yeah, the muscles on he that was guy. huge. Giant. Um, okay, bull. People have, ride them. Yeah. Fuck. That thing steps on you? No wonder oh, yeah. they blow people in half. You are dead. So from that one, we'll step into the horse. Horse is going to be a bit, a little bit lighter. I'm going to say it's more in the range of cow. Yeah. Oh, but then they also have like the Clydesdales. Those are gigantic. So their head is like the size of me. I just got a range, and I'm guessing it's of an average horse, okay. not the old Clyde Z. Twelve to eighteen hundred. Twelve to eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's pretty close. Fuck. The average horse is between eleven hundred and thirteen hundred pounds. Still a big animal. That's a big don't boy. mess yeah. with that. Um, I'd like one one day. Well, horse? multiple horses. Yeah. yeah, they're lovely. Yeah, we we went and said hi to some a while back there. Yes, we did. Sweethearts. Yeah. So now this one might throw you off a little. Okay. Ostrich. It's a big old bird. <clears throat> Not a lot of mass in the neck or legs. They're all center built. They are center built. Yeah, they got skinny little poles that they yeah. walk around on. But I'm, those things can cook, so I think those legs are pretty muscly. They're moving. Yeah. Thirteen hundred? No, that's high for a I fucking I was gonna bird. say I'm. I'm not gonna say thirteen hundred's the max. Set between seven? No, it's a bird. Between five and eight hundred. Now keep in mind, birds have hollow bones. These ones don't. Do they? I thought all birds. I thought that was a thing for. I believe it's flightless birds typically don't have hollow bones. Okay. Okay. What was your guess? Five to eight hundred. 250 to 300 pounds. That's it? Yeah. So for how big they are, I'm guessing they do have hollow bones. Yeah. What is happening with your truck? I don't know, man. Okay. Ford. Grizzly bear. Oh. Eight to 1,400. Apparently only 400 to 600 pounds. No, that's not true. I will rip out the old Google here. Add a tab. Grizzly bear weight. Grizzly bear, let's see. What the fuck is, so the average male is 270 kilograms. What is a fucking 
270 times dose point dose. 270. We're going to do the two LBS. So why is it LBS? Oh, sh I know the reason behind that. Uh, it's a Latin unit of measurement. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, 270 kilograms is 595 pounds. That's not true. They're much bigger than that. Grizzly bear animal. They can run at 56 kilometers an hour. They're moving. I'm telling yeah, you. Not running, not, not out running that thing. National Wildlife Federation. Grizzly bears can weigh upwards of 700 pounds. Yeah. Uh, the males are heavier than the females and can weigh two to 300 kilograms, which is about four to 600 pounds. Mm -hmm. A large female is about 250 to 300 pounds in the lower 48 states. We don't care about the 48 states. We want no. it for Canada. But. What'd you say? 1,100? I'm pretty sure they get over 1,000 pounds. Everything it says here is uh, right in that. I feel like that's like black bear weight. For like I, I would have thought too. Yeah. That's why I threw it in there. But Okay, so now you want to try a whale again or do you want my last, my other one? Other one. Cargo I'm, ship. I want to do whale. Oh, a cargo ship. Sakes. No cargo. This is in tons. Cargo ship sans cargo. Yeah. It's a big ass boat. That's a 500,000 tons. 500,000? Yeah. Well, why don't you try a little lower? We'll let you get in the ballpark here. 110,000 tons. You're getting close. 80? Uh, you're getting further. 100,000. 105,000 tons. Warmer. 108,000? You're getting warmer. I'm going to give you a hint here. 110 was a little colder than where you need to be. What? I just guessed 108. Yeah, yes. 109? And 110 is a little lower than what you're, where you need to be. It's a little colder. So you need to be higher. Oh, than 115. Yeah, a little warmer. 118. A little warmer. 120. A little warmer. 125. Come on, buddy. You start getting up. 140. There. Warmer. 250. Way too hot. 180. 165,000. Jesus Christ, that was exhausting. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> Just say no. Uh, whale. Whale. Yeah, this one's in pounds. Big boys. 70,000 pounds. Way more than that. 180,000 pounds. More. 500 million pounds. <laughs> no. 286,000 pounds. Jesus. To 330,000 pounds. That is a big, big bitch. Tell me that weighs more than a container ship. No, no. A container ship is 165,000 tons. Oh, tons. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, the whale is in uh, pounds. Pounds sterling. Yes. So 165,000 tons in pounds. Billions. Is 3 million. You're 36 million 376,273 pounds. That's fucked. That's out. That's How a the fuck. Is it floating? Property of buoyancy. Displacement and buoyancy. Shut up. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Shut up. Sorry. Don't sorry. fucking talk to me like that. The crazier one is planes. Like insanely heavy planes. How yeah. are you getting that bitch up in the air? You're lift. going against gravity here. Lift and thrust. That's. Stupid. That's what we work in, is wind. Yeah, but like it's that same heavy. shit, different pile. You're, Ours you're just carrying shit. three tanks inside of you, bro. Yeah. Um, no. And the helicopters too that are carrying like the chin hooks. Yes. Yeah. Like That's insane shit. What do you? Why? What? Why are you doing that? What do you just dr uh, drive it? Yes. Drive it. Put it on the large container ship that we just talked about. Transport it there. Ship it. Why are you flying it? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Like, you crash, and a tank comes through the cockpit? It's going to get you. 
that's going to get but you. Yeah, if you're going to take off and it's like, oh, shit, we got to hit the brakes. That yeah. tank's coming clean through the cockpit. You're dead. Oh, everyone's dead. Yeah. 100%. It's killing everybody in that whole fucking that's thing. That's just too much weight. Yeah, I'm still upset about that bear one. Yeah, the I think bears That are... can't be right. No. I don't know. I got, we, we grew up here. Yeah. Like, like, there's some dogs that weigh 250 pounds. Uh, I don't think a bear is a couple hundred pounds over that. Bear, yeah. 400 to 600. And yeah. even that thing, it said some grizzlies can weigh over 700. I think most of them up here. I think most of the big fucking grizzlies up here are more than that. But most of the males, for sure. Yeah. The females, I could see if they had put like six to 800. I could be like, okay, that's yeah. a female. But, the, but the males are huge. For general grizzlies, 400 to 600? Yeah, I don't know about that. I could kick one. Maybe kilos. Yeah, and in that case, if they do weigh that much, I might be able to take it. Yeah. I could probably take that. Yeah, but when you start pushing over 800, I don't know if I can take it. No, anymore. I don't want to tussle with that guy. Him and his gigantic paws and claws. No. Because what? A, a dog is maybe, like a big dog's 80 to 100, maybe? Oh, they Either. can get up 200, like big fat fuck dogs, like where okay. it's not supposed to weigh that much, but like the owner just hates it. Yeah. Some of those guys can get up to 200. Well, I'm talking like an athletic dog. Uh, even like mastiffs and stuff, like they can get up over 100 pounds for sure. Okay. Yeah. What about those, you know, those guard dogs they got on farms for goats and sheep and stuff? Uh, like Pyrenees. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty big boys. They're pretty big boys. I don't know if they get that much because they're a little more wiry. That's true. They're a yeah. little more wired. But those things, I've seen a couple of videos going around the internets on them. Mm-hmm. They're real good at what they do. Oh, like they know they their job. Yep. It's impressive. Yeah. But like the other thing too is like they, like they're going around protecting. Oh. <sighs> wow. Quick yawn. You try to hold that one in I a little? I did. Yeah. How'd that feel? I almost shit myself. <laughs> okay. But dog, right? Mm-hmm. He's in like the gated community there with oh, yeah. the, the goats or the sheeps or whatever ducks and whatnot yeah. yeah and he's like yo this is my herd but then the yodis come and he'll hop the fence go get the yodis out of there mm-hmm. a dog is a lot smaller than a horse and he's clearing that john mm-hmm. so you're saying horses are hopping fences I, that wouldn't shock me if a horse hopped a fence let me, let me put it this way there ain't no way I'm believing that horses stay in their fence 24-7. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see, like, the show-jumping ones. Yeah. Definitely higher in the fence. Way, way clear any little barbed wire thing. Yeah. And also, they eat thistles. They don't give a shit about barbed wire. Like, it might scuff them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah what the step fuck? through it. Yeah, they chew thistles down. Like, they're yeah. like, I don't give a fuck. So, what's barbed wire going to do? Why are we making their fences out of that? Like, obviously, they keep coming back because somebody's feeding them. Yeah, they're but smart enough to realize food's here. Zero chance that they stay in that fence no. all the time. Like, you drive by those fields out here on the back roads, and you see, like, little herd of horses. I don't know if they're wild or not, but even no, domesticated fucking ones. wild. It's on a farm. All right, whatever. Idiot. Feel the wild horses. They're not all standing in the fence. I said wild. I didn't mean untamed. I mean, they're just like moss and they're not like the ones in the little paddock no. next to the house. They're I just think, like the moss and ones. I think they wait until the farmer kind of fucks off for the day. And they're like, oh. that, there's some grass over there that looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. Also, okay, that's the other thing. In their little area, like when you see them in like the smaller ones, mm-hmm. they have eaten everything down. Yeah. There's no way. That they're content in there when they can look around them and it's all green. Yeah, and they know that they can jump over the fence because it comes up to like here on them. Like that's not doing anything. Barely. Yeah. Like, like they can jump that. It, it's essentially at their hip because their yeah. front hips are their shoulders. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't think they're staying in there. Well, what are they doing then? Going into town and causing ruckus. Because who's gonna believe that? <laughs> you wake up at 2 a.m., come out. Yeah, like, oh, my, the shop windows got smashed. Yeah. Like, it must have been those kids. Like, who's going to believe it's like, no, it was a horse. That's true. Like, no, the horse jumped the fence because it was night and yeah. the farmer wasn't looking. Jumped yeah. the fence, came in, caused a fucking shit show in town. Yeah. And then went back and jumped in. Yeah. They could cause so much stuff and do so many crime. So many crime. Many crime. Many crime, yeah. But like big, no one's. Big crime. Yeah, big crime. No one's going to believe. 
big crimes are run by horses. No one's going to believe it's a horse. It's maybe it's stuck on the fence. But yeah. those are stupid people. You and me would figure it out. Yeah. You'd be like, no, like that That's horse is jumping point. that fence. That is a good point. Thank you. That's very, very intuitive right there. They, I, yeah, I know. I'm pretty. So yeah, they're just hopping out, going smart. to town, eat the good grass. Mm -hmm. Like going to a park there with all that green grass where they've taken care of it. Mm -hmm. That's got to be just the most fire dinner that they can ask Like for. golf course, soccer field. Yeah. That's probably yeah. good. Eat. That's like five star for them. That's Michelin star. Yeah. Eating. Like a nicely groomed soccer field. Yeah. It's like, like these fields course. are mostly brown. Yeah. They can't be happy. No. Here. And like a horse can move. Yeah. So like he can cover ground in a night. Like if the farmer does his final checks on him at like 6 p.m., Comes yep. back, hangs around with them, maybe 7, 8 yeah. a.m. Hops the fence. That's 12, 14-ish hours yeah. that that guy can just jump and run around. And you're a horse, so you sleep standing up anyway, so all day long mm, you just I don't nap. think they do that. I think they lay down. What animals sleep standing up? I thought horses slept standing up. No, I'm pretty sure they lay down. I thought when they were sick they lay down. No, I think just when they're tired they will lay down. It's like cows. You can't cow tip. Yeah, true. They sleep on the ground. Yeah. 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 No, cow tipping is not real. Cow tipping is not real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. Yeah. Horses right? running it I'm not down. crazy by saying that. Yeah. Causing a rocket. Shoplift. Breaking. Yeah. Let's go. We got, we got robbed. But I mean, what? The horses are shoplifting at the UFA? Go in there, steal some feed? Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Like, you know, around Calgary, there's, there's some horse farms. Like farms with horses. Yeah. I think they're coming in and going like Best Buy. No, they have no purpose there. Get a Fitbit for himself. See how many steps he takes. I don't think they make like a band big enough to fit on that, John. That's a good point. And some big beefy legs. No, it's, I point. think they're more like UFA, like tax store type, yeah. type beat. Yeah, that's a good point. Like go in, maybe grab a brush. And you'll probably figure out how to brush each other. and holding your mouth. They're and like going right? through like the car wash with the spinny brushes. They go out there, have a good time. I'm sure they'd love rushed. that. I think they would love that. Yeah. But their only issue with them is like cash, debit, credit oh, card true. to access true. that machine. I don't think they have well, that. Well, maybe that's why they're going into Best Buy. Slamming into Best Buy, cash register in the mouth. Eat all the bills. Maybe they taste good. Bunch of coins in the lips. Mm -hmm. Move Get on those over. Those lips are yeah. me, 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 me. They're ambidextrous with their lips, essentially. Not what that is. I think you mean the word amphibious. <laughs> You're close, but not quite. <laughs> Amphibious? Yes. Um, no. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay, but yeah, they get some coins in there, and then they yard on over to the uh, local car wash. Yeah. They get all scrubbed up. Their lips are all reptilian, so they can sh 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 yeah. coin Put into the, the slot. In. And then, yeah, just get on a little draggy thing for your tire that drags you through the brushes. Yeah. And then get just a scrub them. get a good scrubbing. Come back all clean. Farmer would be confused. Who's cleaning my goddamn good horses? Point. Good point. They probably I'm have cleaning to... them at night. I see that, Shane. Yeah, that's reference. Um, yeah, they probably go get cleaned, and on their way back, they just roll down a hill or something, get some dust back up in there. Yeah, the so they're not. On. So they're not spotless. Yeah, but it's like you're definitely cleaner than yesterday. Yeah, but if the if the horses are jumping the fence, you don't think they're letting like the cattle out and stuff too? Because I don't think a cow mm. could jump that fence. I don't know if the uh, horse and cow community have beef or if they're... Mm, good point. If they're symbiotic. Can farmers put horses in with cattle? Or is that a no-no? I'm sure they could. Because they put donkeys sometimes. Yeah. Like instead of a, like a livestock guardian dog, they'll put a donkey. Because apparently donkeys are just mean sons of bitches. I have heard that, yeah. Like they hate coyotes and anything like that. Like they will yeah. fuck them up. And a donkey's, well, that's a horse, really. A little yeah. One. It's a vertically challenged horse. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. A so I, I don't think the horse and cow community are on site. I believe they're, like, they're Separate. they're from the same neighborhood, you know? Okay, yeah. Like maybe they don't hang out all the time, but they're from the same neighborhood. Both they respect each other. Creatures. Uh, bovine, I believe, is what that is. Good. I thought that was specifically for cows. Cloven hooved, maybe? Cloven hooved beasts. Cloven hooved animals. Yeah. A big old wasp out there. Yeah. Ooh, gross. My window's open, so. <laughs> yeah, it could be a quick end here, folks. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. That answers a lot of my questions, actually. Yeah. I think. 
There could be like a parlay between them, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, we'll let you guys out. You can roam around. You got to be back at this time. But like maybe if the farmer does something for the cows, like gives them extra treats or something. I don't know. Do they have treats? Like uh, they give them cats? like salt licks and stuff. Yeah. Like maybe the horse those. would be like, bring that over here next time. Yeah. Let me, let me get a little yeah. piece of that. Let me see what's going on there. Or when they put like that big bristly bastard in with the cows and they just rub yeah. up on it. Maybe the horse is like, we'll let you out, but we're we're going to take that for a spin for a little bit. But I mean, the horse also has access to the gas station car. Well, and I was about to say with the Salt Licks, if they're going out and they're getting into UFAs and tax stores and stuff. Yeah. Just go get their own. So yeah. what business do they have doing business with the cattle? I don't know. They, there'd have to be something. Milk, maybe? Protein and milk? Well, the female horses have udders, too. Yeah, but I don't think they're churning out the same quantities, yeah. Quantity, volume. Yeah. <sighs> As a cow. So maybe there's a certain... <laughs> Quick jump back into that one. Well, yeah, we're talking about cows and horses right now. Smaller animals on the farm, what do they, what do? Because do? Yeah. like a cow doesn't have the same, same stamina and speed as a horse. So the cow's no. not going into town. No, but he could get out into another field where there's some better grass. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, all farmers, like, swip swap the grass in the fields. Yeah. Like, ah, uh, cows will be here for a couple months. They'll be there for a couple months. True. You know, like, we're kind of, like, over this grass. Yeah. We like, wanna... this wasn't a good season for it. We want that stuff. Yeah. So the horses will help them out. Because the, the gates that they have here for the cattle, like, a horse could figure out oh, how to undo that. 100%. It's a chain that wraps around the thing. Yeah. With their amphibious mouths, they could totally get that off. Yeah, like, first time might be a little tricky. Maybe even, like, they watch the farmer, like, look what he does. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. I can do that. Yeah, that's true. And, like, farmers and people in general, mm -hmm. I love when there's a horse coming over, looking over my shoulder. Like, well, what you doing there? Yeah. I didn't realize that all those times that they've been looking over, like, when you're out hanging out with them, they're they're studying what you're doing. They're like, oh, oh, this is an easier way to get out. I don't have to jump that thing anymore. Mm -hmm. Just come over here. They're figuring out how to done. drive tractors and all that. They're out there doing. Yeah, they could figure out how to rip the Cubota around. Maybe they couldn't work all the attachments without thumbs and stuff, but... No, there'd have to be, a, like, a kind of pedal system for that. Like a big, big push-button system. Four big push-buttons. Yeah. Like, up, down, left, right. Yeah. But, I mean, a horse sitting up there would be calm. Uh-oh. No, nope. see that wasp? You're good. Yeah. Cool. He's, he's in my truck bed right now. Dick. Yeah. No. So, yeah, I think a horse could... I think a horse could operate a Cubota. I don't know what kind of licenses you need for that, but you can probably bang that out over a weekend. I think for like general farm tractor equipment, you just need a normal driver's license. So you get into like the big stuff. Yeah. Like the combines and things like that. That's yeah, probably cool. I'm pretty sure combines drive themselves now. A lot of them do. I think yeah. the nice ones, you just hit a button, right? Yeah. Map Combine my field. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is nifty. I'd like to be a farmer. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do. This takes off. We we'll buy, hobby buy farm. ranch. Hobby farm. Let's buy a ranch with Coulter Wall. That'd be sick. Dude, I don't know. We didn't need a lot of land because he's got a lot of cattle. Big cowboy man. Black guy almost came in. I think that was a bee, too. There's a fly there, but. No, there was a bee. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. One of them stingy boys comes in, B or wasp. Yeah, I'm gone. I see yellow and black stripes. Gone. Yeah, big deuces. I big, don't want big to be screams will be coming out yes. of my body and gone. The so ending to this. When's the last time we got stung by a wasp or bee? Don't we don't want to talk about that because that's going to happen. Manifesting. Yeah, but Let's now see. that you've asked, I have to answer. Yes, otherwise, that's how this works. Yeah, long time. I think it was a. Maybe like 13, 14. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, geez. What? Mine, oh, mine, yeah. was, not, mine was not very long ago. <laughs> you got dinged. Yeah, I got double dinged. Two days in a row riding to work. The, yeah. the first day, riding down the path, vibing, having a great time. Headphones in, loving it. I get nailed right in the corner of the lip. Yeah. Like my bottom lip swells up like I just got punched in the face with a bus. It yeah. was massive. I get to work, tell this guy, he's laughing his ass off, couldn't care less. So I'm pissed off all day, mouth is swollen to shit. The very next fucking day, yeah. 
Not in the same spot, thank Christ. I would have lost yeah, my mind. That would have been bad. But it was maybe 30 seconds away from work. Riding down the street. I feel it hit my neck, go down my shirt. So I start panicking. I'm ripping my shirt around, almost die on my bike. And it fucking tags me right in the chest. Uh, just two in 24 hours. Yeah. Get to work, rip my shirt off, and the stinger's just stuck in me. Yeah. What the fuck is that? That, that was, was what, two that was years fine. ago, three years ago? Would have been pre COVID, maybe? That might have been COVID vid. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. Because I moved into that house there. during COVID. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Fucking so yeah, tough week yeah. for the kid. Three, maybe. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was a couple, a couple years back. Yeah. Shitty couple days for me. Yeah. I was glad I'm not allergic. Melvin yeah. would have killed me. That would have been a little rough. Yeah. What are we at here? Yeah. It's about that time. Yeah, it's, it's about that time. Yeah. We have to do uh, a couple of these this week, so. <laughs> well, um, are we on any podcasting platforms? All of them. All of them? Apple uh, Podcast, Spotify. Yeah. Chromecast. And not, still not one. You yeah, say that every time, but not uh, one. I heart radio. Yeah. Our website is hayampodcast.com. Right. Oh, beautiful. Let's go. Uh, say it again, though, because I cut you off. H-A-Y-N podcast.com. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter that we don't use. We're going to, I'm, we're going to stop saying Twitter. Yeah. Uh, YouTube. H-A-Y-N podcast. H-A-Y-N underscore. underscore Fuck sakes. One day, getting there. One day I'll get it. Yeah. I need like a cheat sheet for that. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll print you something. We'll get it laminated. Yeah, some indeed. stickers on it for you. Yeah, ooh, a pop up. We we could do some of the touch. Maybe a scratch and sniff. Ah, oh, that'd be good. Yeah. 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 So whenever you smell that, you're like, oh right, it's H A Y N underscore yeah. podcast. Yeah, we'll get the association. Mm-hmm. Make it smell like fart. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Basically, start on our website. Go from there. Every, or if you're listening on there on a podcast or it, the links in the thing, just go to the find yeah. the thing. You'll find the link for the thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or follow if you're on the Spotify's or the Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. You hit the little plus thing, and then there's usually a little bell-shaped symbol so you can hear more whenever we come out. Um, and again, yeah, uh, if any of you guys want to submit your uh, <coughs> your bios, send them in to our... Email? email dm us yeah yeah you can dm us too on any of them yep uh check that pretty regularly our email is info at h-a-y-n podcast.com i think that's that's perfect. i think we hit everything huh? yeah nail on the head um talked about poop cows the horse thing still boggles me yeah they're jumping up you gotta be Well, well, uh, thanks for listening, but we'll, we'll probably talk to you. Yeah. Till next time. And we'll talk to you for sure. Probably talk to you.